Volkswagen, says that every 2019 VW Golf driven solely by its front wheels will jettison the 1.8-liter turbocharged four-cylinder used throughout the range. The engine bay will instead contain the 1.4-liter turbo 4 that serves every trim in the Jetta lineup. The 1.8-liter produces 170 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque in FWD versions, and is EPA-rated at 25 city miles per gallon, 34 highway, 29 combined in the 5-speed manual hatch. The 1.4-liter makes 147 horsepower and 184 pounds to foot in the Jetta. The smaller engine will go into the entry-level Golf hatch and the sport wagon trims. To help allay the loss of 22 horsepower and further improve fuel economy, the engine gets upgraded transmissions. The 5 speed manual adds 1 cog, the optional 6 speed automatic adds 2 cogs. The all wheel drive gallops hold steady with the 1.8 liter, still good for 170 horsepower and 199 horsepower. VW's been putting serious incremental efforts into its fuel economy numbers. The 2018 Jetta with the 1.4-liter received two fuel economy ratings depending on transmission, the 5-speed manual sedan rang up 28 city, 40 highway, 33 combined, and the 6-speed automatic got 28 city, 38 highway, 32 combined. The EPAs rated the 2019 Jetta in both manual and automatic guises as 30 city, 40 highway, 34 combined. The entry-level Golf weighs 75 pounds more than the Jetta, but we'd expect the reduced gumption and increased gearing to return Jetta numbers. VW's done some hocus-pocus with trims and options across the range. The entry-level Golf S and hatch and Outrack trims throws an automatic emergency braking and blind spot monitors, those will be options on the Sport Wagon S. The SE models bake in adaptive cruise control and other driver assistance features, the Sport Wagon SE gets LED headlights standard, but LED lights on the Outrack SE will be optional. The Sport Wagon cell trim retires, and showing that apparently the 6-speed manual won't be a fixture throughout, the Outrack cell will offer the 6-speed as an option, 